Hi, thanks for joining me today. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about an often overlooked feature of Adobe Illustrator, which is export for screens. So let's just get right to it. So in front of you here, what we have is actually what I have is a, a master file of all of my YouTube thumbnails, right? So every video that I create, I create a thumbnail so that you get a nice preview. And this is, this is what it looks like. Um, Adobe Illustrator has this really nice feature called export for screens where I can export files in a variety of ways. And there's two different ways that I can export them. I, uh, and the first I'm going to show you here is, is this view, which is what I'm looking at is a whole bunch of, um, uh, of artboards, right? So I can zoom in on just one of them, but I'm zooming out so I can see all of my artboards here. All right. And uh, so this is, this is all my artboards. If I come over here, you can see I have a bunch of artboards and I have them named and that's going to be helpful a little later on, right? Every single one of my artboards is a named artboard. Right? Click on this and you can see that's Illustrator Spot to Process Gradients, right? So I have these names, I have my artboards. And what I can do is I can come over here to File, Export, and a lot of people do export as or maybe save for web, which is kind of the legacy, the way the old way that Illustrator did it. But if I choose export for screens, look at what I have options here for. So I have export my artboards, and that's exactly what I want to do. And I can choose one, I can choose all, I can choose some of them, right? I can just click on or off any of the artboards. I already have all of these done, so I'm just going to choose today's. And if I want to include bleed, in this case, I, I, it doesn't really matter because um, I, don't, I don't design my artboards with bleed. But if I, if I do design something with bleed, multiple pages, things like that, I can, I can do that. All right. So I have this set up. Um, where do I want this created? And then I can even create subfolders for scale and format. Why is scale and format important? Because I can come down here and right here I have this format right here is, let's say, my scale. I want to do everything at half size and then I can add another one and I can do it at full size and I can add another one. And look, this one, three size, I want to save as a JPEG, right? So I can even change formats at will. It will, with one click of the button now, it's going to ha save a half size preview with a as a PNG, a full size preview as PNG, and a three size as JPEG. All right. I don't really want to do all of those. I just want that. But it gives me the ability to do that. If I do create subfolders, it'll actually arrange those into separate folders. So it just makes it an easier to manage. But now I can just export artboard and it just comes right up and it'll it'll pull that file up. All right. So that's one way to do this, all right, is by artboards. Now, I want to show you this other way to do it, which is, this is really slick. Um, so what I have here is I'm, I'm working on a user interface for uh, a program I use that just monitors my computer. So what you're looking at up top is just kind of a graphic that I've used for, for my CPU. Um, and it, it's going from green to red, which is going to indicate in this particular program what, what temperature um, my CPU is. And down below, this is, this is my GPU, right? My graphics card. So watch this. If I come over here to Windows and Asset Export, under Asset Export, Right. What I have is all of these items already brought in. And the way you do this really simply is you can bring one at a time, just drag it in, and you'll see now it creates something. All right. Or, oh, had it selected outside as well. Um, let me dump those. Or I can actually select everything. And then if I bring that in, you'll see it adds all of them. Now you see in here that I have all of my, my items already named. 
uh, with meaningful names. How did I do that? I cheated the system a little bit. Um, if I come under my layers, you can see I have all of my CPU stuff on one layer, GPU on the other. Let me, let me hide one of them so I can show you. If I click on this arrow here and expand, you can see that every single item is its own layered group. That's just the way Illustrator works with this. And I can go ahead and change the name. So all I did was I clicked on each of these, right? And I changed the particular name. You can see the little blue dot here. That means this is CPU 08. I just went through and named them. If I have objects that are that are in, these are sub layers, but if I have uh, objects that are named in the sub layer, it will automatically name them properly when I bring them over to asset export. And now the same way when I come over here and you can actually see over here in the case of asset export, I don't even really need to go into the dialogue, but let me do it just it's a little bit easier. Um, but if I export for screens and I choose assets, now you can see, oops, probably I should turn that layer back on, right? Turn that back on, file, export, and export for screens. And now you can see all of my objects and I can click all. I can choose the scale, the format, whatever, right? I can do this and export these exactly the same way as the artboards. So there you go, just a kind of a, a quick way um, to export multiple items, uh, sometimes even in multiple formats. So rather than having to save as, save as, save as, or export, 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 I can really, I can set this up once and then I can just go ahead and do it, and I'm I'm done. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.